In this tutorial I want to show you how to use the analog to digital converter of your Actiny85 microcontroller. So we will be reading a voltage from this potentiometer and whenever that voltage is less than 2.5 volts we're going to be turning on this LED. So I have my potentiometer connected to PV4 which is pin which is pin 3 and I have the LED connected to PV3 which is pin 2 so pin 3 will be an analog input pin 2 would be a digital output let's go ahead and see the data sheet for the Actiny85 for the analog to digital converter so this is basically a 10 bit analog to digital converter which means that our analog voltage that we read from the potentiometer will be translated to 10 bits so we'll have the values from 0 to 1024 which will represent the values 0 to 5 in voltage respectively so one of the things that I want to show you is that you have uh, several types of conversion results you have single-ended conversions differential conversions differential conversions and bipolar differential conversions the ones we're going to be using is the single ended conversions which means that we can read one voltage and change it to a digital value which like I said will be represented by uh, 10 bits so this is actually the formula that our converter uses so V in will be the voltage coming out of the potentiometer and B ref is a voltage that you can select by setting some of the bits B ref for us is going to be VCC or in our case the actual value is 5 volts since that is, that is where the VCC pin is connected to so this is the uh, you can use this formula if you for example would like to find out what the actual value is in voltage inside your uh, microcontroller so in order to select the voltage reference these are the bits that you have to set like I said I want to use VCC as my voltage reference so these are the values that I have to use you can adjust your result to the left or to the right and what that means is that uh, since we have a 10 bit result we have two 8 bit registers where we can store the data so the data is going to be split into two one register will have 8 bits the other register will have two bits and you can choose which register has eight and which has two this is where you select which channel you want to use for your input in our schematic I have ADC2 as my input for the uh, analog to digital converter so these are the value that I have to give to MOX from 0 to 3 before you use the analog to digital converter you actually have to enable it then you have to tell it when to start the conversion you can also select the clock for the converter you also have the option of using interrupts which we will use so when I was talking about the uh, left or right alignment if you recall right here left adjust result so if we adjust the result to the left then the least two significant bits are in this register the eight most significant bits are in this register if we adjust to the right 
then we have the least 8 bits in this register and the two most significant bits in this register so if we combine these two registers then we have our entire 10 bit result you also have uh, different ways of triggering the ADC or in other words telling it when to start we will be using free running mode which means that we always want to be reading but you can also use interrupts for example external interrupts or timer interrupts or an analog comparator interrupt we're also going to need to disable the digital input on the analog to digital pin since we won't be using digital inputs but analog instead so that's it for the data sheet. Let's check out the code. So I have created a variable called analog result where I will store my analog result from the converter. I have an interrupt here that uh, gets executed whenever the conversion finishes. So the, uh, the analog conversion is not instantaneous, but uh, whenever it uh, reads a voltage and finishes converting it to a digital value, then this interrupt gets executed and inside the interrupt I simply assign the analog value to the analog result so these are the two registers that I showed you where the result is stored for each conversion and I'm using right alignment that's why I have to shift these two bits eight times to the left so that when I or them with the AD CL bits then I get my entire 10 bit result so in here I'm just making my analog pin and input my LED pin and output then I select my reference voltage with like I said which like I said would be VCC and this is where I write adjust this is where I select my input which is ADC2 and we're using free running mode so all these bits have to be zero turn off the uh, digital inputs to reduce power consumption according to the data sheet then I enable my analog to digital converter and also enable the interrupt for the converter and then I do the uh, I bit enable in my interrupts and then I tell it to start the first conversion and then since we're running in free mode I don't have to repeat this line but if we were running in uh, another mode then I would have to repeat that line so this is where I check my result and like I said uh, we're using 10 bits so my digital value for 0 to 5 volts will be 0 to 1024 so five, 500 is uh, half of 1024 which means that's about 2.5 volts and if the potentiometer's output is less than 2.5 volts then I turn on the LED otherwise I turn it off if you don't want to use interrupts then delete this ISR also get rid of this part and this line also get rid of it and then you want to have uh, these two lines uncommented so your ADSC bit reads one for as long as the conversion is happening that's why I have a uh, loop here that uh, just stays there until this goes to zero and that's when my conversion ends and after my conversion ends then I just read the uh, digital value from the two analog value registers that's it for this video thank you for watching